In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a cheap tilt adapter so you can shoot with a shallow depth of field, but still get more in focus. This may look like a regular camera, but in between the body and the lens, I have a $30 tilt adapter that lets me do this. Now why would anyone want to tilt their lens? Well, one creative use for tilt is to create a miniature effect. Here are some shots I took from the Brooklyn Heights promenade the other day with the lens tilted up to get this miniature scale effect. But you can also rotate the lens, which then allows you to swing it left and right. This is the full swing of 8 degrees. And here's what that looks like through the lens. Keep your eye on the fox in the background. And boom, it's in focus too. Let's look at what's happening from a bird's eye view. With a regular lens, the sensor plane, lens plane, and plane of focus are parallel to each other. Here, the wide yellow band represents the area around the plane of focus, called the depth of field. When the lens is tilted, the lens plane is out of whack with the sensor plane and results in an angled plane of focus. Now the plane crosses over both the chicken and the fox, but with the same shallow depth of field. And here's the final shot. If you have a Sony, Fujifilm, or Canon mirrorless camera, you can get one of these cheap tilt adapters to use with the older lenses from other systems like Canon, Nikon, Pentax, and others. I have a few excellent M42 lenses in my collection already, so I bought this M42 to Sony E-mount adapter to fit my camera body. This adapter can be found on eBay and Amazon. Lots of sellers market it as a tilt shift adapter, but it's really only tilt. If you have a larger budget, Kipon makes a higher quality adapter and LensBaby has a system. Hope you enjoyed this tip about tilt.